Hey, we got another ice cold beer done. This particular one looks excellent. The back glass here, the glass in the front is near perfect. Uh, the original artwork looks fantastic. The play field behind it is beautiful too. Nice original overlay. We've put on brand new chrome T-molding. Still has the protective cover on it. But uh, we repainted the front black. But the sides came out just beautiful. This is the original um, side vinyl covering up here and the original um, overlay, side art. <laughs> so this is actually going all the way back to 1981. 82, I think that's when the game came out. Frank, come around, let's look at the back here. We've put in uh, new rubber uh, belts, courtesy of Steve Young at Pimble Resource. They are police for uh, police uh, force, the Pimble Machine Police Force, same belts, same material. We've adjusted the switches, the up and down switches. We put new bulbs in here. Um, Boy, I don't know if, let me get this light here. Let me turn on the bottom. Let me show you what we did. This machine is going to Russia. So we have put in a voltage converter into the bottom to convert the voltage over to the, I think it's 240 there. Uh, the power supply has been reheated. We had to reheat some uh, silver solder on that. And the power cord is in here. Of course, that's new coming out the back. All our customer will have to do is put his plug on the end of it, whatever kind of plug he uses. Do you see there's a tilt bob from a pinball machine here to keep people uh, from shaking the machine? If they shake it, the game shuts down and they lose the ball. The original logic board is in great shape. We cleaned all the connectors, the edge connectors on that. The volume pot, uh, so you can turn the volume up and down, is nice because you can actually reach it from the front door. It's right down here. So you can actually reach in the front door and turn it up and down. Uh, you don't have to open the back door up. Uh, We've taken this apart and cleaned the traps and the chattel so the ball return will come back just perfect. Frank, let's come up front again. Uh, customer hasn't told us if he wants a free play button on it. If we put it in, we'll put it there, or we can leave it set up for coins. But the um, game is playing great. We took this bar off and took it all apart, cleaned and oiled it. Um, so the ball rolls just perfectly. And we have it set so you get that fantastic control. Uh, what a great game this is. Uh, this has become more and more popular over the years too. People really like playing this game. Uh, except me, if I can't look that. Anyway, <laughs> uh, let me see if there's anything else. I can point out on this baby. I think I show you what other videos. If you don't play the game for a while, this bar bumps out up on itself. If that's settable too, you can actually go into the book and make adjustments and settings on the game. If you can get it all the way up to hole 10, this star. Who's gonna get that phone? Oh. Uh, you see that star here? That'll come on if you get up to the top and you were supposed to win a free beer or whatever the bar was gonna give you at the time. That was entirely up to them. See what it's doing? No, if you don't walk away from it, it bumps it up when you're out. So sooner or later, you're going to lose that ball. I doubt I'll be able to get number three. No. That wasn't to be. Anyway, oh, Frank, the other side. Oh, you can hear the tilt sound. I just tilted it. Look at the sides of that. Really nice. Steven only had to do a little bit of touch-up to this original decal. It just came out great. Uh, we have four brand new casters on the bottom. The game's pitch is very important. The game has to sit back just a hair so the ball leans against the wood. If it leans against the glass, it's never going to roll back. So once the customer gets to their house, they can adjust the casters. The nice thing is when they come in, the casters are all cruddy and rusty. Four new casters on the bottom ensure it easy to adjust with your fingers. You don't need to a wrench or anything to get it absolutely perfect once it gets into the guy's house. So we're going to pack this on an overseas pallet and ship it out to Russia on Monday. How about buying a real arcade game for your house? My daughter Tammy will show you all about it. Have you ever thought of owning your own video arcade game? Well, come to TNT Amusements, we've got plenty of them. We have a hundred different machines for sale in our Southampton PA showroom. Where can you find classics like Galaxian and Mortal Kombat? Pac 
Pac-Man, Space Invaders, Stargate! Oh, and we have Pinball! If you get tired of your game, we guarantee you generous trade-in credit. How about buying your very own shuffle bowling alley? <laughs> Woo! Oh, I love touchscreen games! How about buying your very own bubbler jukebox that holds 500 CDs? It's electric! TNT Amusements exclusive Find Your Service Plan. Go to our website for prices and more info. TNTAmusements.com We're in the yellow pages under amusement. Ah, living is good, isn't it, folks? That's all for now. Good night.